Hi, I'm Jennifer from Martingale, and today's trunk show is a group of quilts from the book Pre-Cut Parade by author Jessica Dayon. Inside this book, you will find quilts to make from strips, squares, and fat quarters. Now, if you're a lover of pre-cuts, as Jessica is, you might love two and a half inch strips as your favorite. They come in a jelly roll from Moda. You might like layer cakes or 10 inch squares, a pack of those. Or maybe you collect fat quarters, whether you collect them in the bundle like this or you pick them up as you go to the quilt shop and you have a stash of them ready to go. So no matter which one is your favorite, she's got quilt patterns for each. Let's start out first with three quilts that are made using jelly rolls. This first one is called Frolic. These large blocks use two and a half inch strips. It's a quick to sew quilt. She's got a great nine patch in the center and works out from there. And because of the way the sashing is set together, she also creates that secondary pattern of an Irish chain behind them all. So this one is called Frolic. Really fun, bright quilt. But maybe you like things a little brighter. This quilt is called Dabble. And it is one jelly roll and then she's added in some prints um, and a solid behind the blocks here and then prints for sashing and her borders and this bright turquoise uh, border with the burnt orange binding really adds that pop of color. So this is Dabble and it's made using one jelly roll. As you can tell from her fabric choices, Jessica loves a little bit brighter palette. This one is called Maybell. And this one a little bit is a fool the eye. So this is a five by six quilt and the blocks line up straight across and then there is sashing between the blocks. So the block is actually up here and these churn dash blocks are formed when you put the quilt together. So very creative use of jelly roll strips and a fun blue print uh, that she's used on the corners to create that secondary pattern and have it emerge. Love that, it's called Maybell. So those three quilts all use jelly rolls. The next three I'm going to show you are fat quarter friendly quilts. This quilt is called Happy Go Lucky. And again, it's a big block quilt, easy to assemble. It uses 19 fat quarters, and she's got a great scrappy variety so that you can see there are two blocks here. One has a star in the center of it, and the other has a pinwheel. And they all have great motion. So happy-go-lucky. Tessa, the next quilt is a little bit smaller. It uses 16 fat quarters. And this one is diagonally set, so your rows go together in this way, but her use of a white solid in the background really creates a lot of open space and makes it seem like those blocks are just floating on the background. So that's Tessa, and it uses 16 fat quarters. And the third fat quarter friendly pattern uses 22 fat quarters and it is aptly named Sparkler. So it's straight set, two block design as you can see going across all in a palette of red, white, and blues and a happy little red and white print on the outside with a diagonal stripe binding. Sparkler. Layer cake designs are next and of course you can use any of your stash and cut your own fabrics for any of these quilts but if you like to get a jump on the cutting part and start with a pre-cut um, these are engineered patterns to make the most of that so this is called two-step and it uses almost every slice of a layer cake of that 10 inch square bundle and she's used it to make both the star blocks that create those circles in the center and the plus blocks around the edge for a lovely scrappy quilt called Two Step. Another layer cake friendly pattern is Nelly. And sometimes in layer cakes, you might be attracted to uh, prints that have a little bit larger scale on them. So this has got some chunky uh, triangle pieces that are a little bit bigger and can make the best use of those bigger prints. It's great for that. 
and super simple to piece. She gives you all the tips for putting this together. This one's called Nelly. And then the last quilt pattern in the book is called Bon Bon. She named it because each one of these little boxes to her was like finding a chocolate in a candy box. And it's simple uh, pieced sashing comes together to create these little nine patches that really set across, uh, uh, set apart the blocks and showcases. You can see all the, all the pieces that were in that layer cake to put that together. These are the quilts from the book Pre-Cut Parade by author Jessica Dayon. Look for it wherever you buy books or at shopmartingale.com. Mm -hmm.